Get ready to laugh. Some of our area's best comedians are coming together for the comedy extravaganza event on Friday, January 20th. Brad and Sean from Elkhart's Comedy Deli are joining us this morning. Yeah. Thanks morning. for being with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I didn't know if you would need a, a, to hold a microphone, if we were going to be doing some stand up <laughs> or we're just talking about the upcoming event. Typically it's night. Morning's a tough time to do stand up. <laughs> typically. It, it is. We need a few more cups of coffee or maybe a different I, beverage a little absolutely. later there, in the day. There you go. Okay, That's so important. Comedy Deli. A lot of people might be hearing about this for the very first time. Do you do events throughout the community? What does that look like bringing local comedians together? Well, the Comedy Deli uh, is a group of comics that started out, oh my gosh, about a decade ago. And we, the intention was just to do charity events, you know, through improv and stand up to benefit, you know, charities in the, the region. And I mean, we've traveled as far as to Pennsylvania mm -hmm. to do shows to help out uh, folks. But one of the things that the deli also <coughs> uh, endeavors to do is to teach the next generation of, of comics. Now, I've, I've been doing stand-up for almost 30 years. Brad's been doing it for a bit of, about a decade, but he's also been din doing improv for how many years? 35 years. <laughs> so we bring this you know, dearth of experience to you know, locals that want to chase their dream of doing stand-up. So these folks, I mean, we have pharmacists, writers, you know, mechanics, you know, it, from all walks of life coming out to try basically a couch to stage in six weeks. That sounds like a, you know, from sitting to a 5K. That sounds a similar yeah. path, similar. you know, yes. couch to 5K, but it, we're going it, couch to microphone. In yes. some cases, it's literally that traumatic, too. I mean, the, the transition <laughs> from day one so to the time stage. So how do you stage. do this? Is this a one-on-one -on -one training? Is this workshops, classes? We, Somebody uh, thinking, you know, yeah. I might even just want to dabble. What does that look like to be involved? We, we sign them up for a six-week class, four-hour sessions, uh, usually on Saturday mornings uh, sometime. And uh, they're intense four-hour sessions. And at the end of it, we have a contest and we run them through and they get each one get, does five minutes. So they do five minutes of stand up comedy. And we teach them all the ins and outs, the business part of it, the psychological part of it, mic use, stage use, all the things that go with it. We do it because as new or burgeoning comics, we didn't get this. We had to go learn the hard way mm -hmm. um, and offering it to people who really thought, yeah, maybe I could do this. We're giving them a head start uh, to take a flying uh, on t off the stage or on the stage, depending on your perspective. <laughs> but the reality is we're giving them head starts that we never got. And it's just something, a way to give back. And is the solo stand-up, do you also do improv as in group for someone who doesn't want to do a solo yes. act? Mm -hmm. So we, we also offer improv classes uh, yep. that's going to be actually starting in March. We're going to start offering another improv class. Yep. And yeah, and also doing MC classes to start training the next batch of MCs for the uh, Underground Laugh Lounge, which is the new comedy club that's opening up in uh, Niles, Michigan Niles. in September. Mm -hmm. yep. So we're teaching that too. The idea of it is, you know, as Brad was saying, we had to go the hard way through years of just trial and error and you know being helped out here and there by comics and we figure the easiest way to get them to the stage is if we can take all of the noise and push it off to the side so they have the clearest path and the best chance that's why we do it we don't even charge a ton of money we barely charge enough for gas, gas prices mm -hmm. you know gas mm -hmm. but we don't do it for that we do it because we want to see people succeed mm -hmm. And upcoming, the comedy extravaganza. Yeah, so. What we, can someone <laughs> expect as an audience audience member when they're coming out for the show? Well, we've got 10 uh, comedians from these past uh, classes that we are putting together to put on a show. So we did the contest last fall and uh, take their next step. Uh, we said, we'll put get a show together. Uh, we got a hold of the well. I've got some contacts at the well. And they said, yeah, bring it on over. We'll do a show right here at the well. They, they're hosting us and, and been very uh, helpful in getting this all mm -hmm. set up. Uh, I got to shout out to Patrick Quigley. Uh, he was my connection in there. And uh, we're going to do a show the 20th, starting at 7. Uh, again, each one comic's going to get about 10 minutes or so. So it's double what they had when they first did the contest. And so we're really asking them to stretch a little bit. We're asking them to stretch a little bit. And any other, as we wrap up this morning, upcoming events or exciting announcements that we're making for 2023? Well, uh, so one of the biggest things is, <coughs> is the club that's uh, called the Underground Laugh Lounge. It's opening in the Carnegie Library in Niles, Michigan. Mm -hmm. 
and it is a brick and mortar comedy club and we're bringing in comics from all over the nation and um, I'm gonna be the general manager. Brad is going to be like the number two uh, with another guy, Otis Boggs, that's part of the Comedy Deli. And he's gonna be running the improv segments, but it, it is going to be another home in the Michigan area for, uh, for stand-up and, uh, and, and improv. And it's, it's gonna be exciting because it's gonna be comedy every single, every single week. Yep and bringing new opportunities for local comedians in our area. And of course, we could all use a good laugh. Amen. So come Amen. on out to this show. We wanna make sure that you have all the details to get a ticket for the comedy extravaganza happening on Friday, January 20th at 7 p.m. You can give them a call 574-387-2410 or check out thewellriverpark.com for more details.